Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. So from the time the OnePlus 5T has been launched, I've been covering it all and a few guys from different devices like the Xiaomi devices and Samsung devices were asking me today that why are there no videos for say a Samsung S7 or S8 maybe or the Redmi 4A or the Redmi Note 4. Well, I will make videos about that. Just let me let me get some time. The 5T has been in so much of news and of lately so many things have been happening with my OnePlus 5T and the guys over at uh, the WhatsApp group uh i will mention the link in the description uh they have been awesome they have been just requesting things left right and center so a small request to everyone if you want any specific video please go ahead and request that in comment section and i will go ahead and try to accommodate that now coming towards today's topic um well we've tried it all we've unlocked the bootloader we've rooted it we've installed majisk substrantum and whatnot uh earlier i had made a video covering freedom freedom os which is a custom rom based on oxygen os but then again today we're going to look at something slightly different we're going to look at flashing a custom rom based on android 8.1 which is the latest version of android now before we begin once again i'd like to give you a disclaimer sort of a warning back up all your data that is the first thing you should be doing whenever you tamper with your phone with any stuff like this back up all your phone make sure you have at least 60 70 percent battery and make sure you have a lot of time and you should be good to go with this guide so the rom of our choice is omni rom which is based off android 8.1 which happens to be the latest version and that is what we're going to flash on the oneplus 5t but here's what we're going to do we're going to do an android backup then i will copy it to the computer including my internal storage now right now i'm running Universal TWRP by Codeworks with Oxygen OS 4.7.6 and Majisk Root. So I'm going to wipe everything after the backup is done. That means internal storage will be wiped and everything else will be wiped. After that, we're going to flash the open beta firmware first. Then we'll flash the ROM. Then we will flash GApps and then we will flash Majisk for Root. So this is what we're going to do and let's begin. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's get Android 8.1 on your OnePlus 5T. Okay, so let's begin the migration to 8.1 based ROM. So first and foremost as always we will go ahead and check what ROM we are running. This is 4.7.6, I am running it rooted with TWRP, that is the Codeworks TWRP. So first let's go ahead and go to about phone. Tap seven times on build number, enable developer options. Go to developer options, enable advanced reboot. Makes things easier. So press and hold the power button. Reboot. Then recovery. Sorry there. So reboot. Recovery. And touch to reboot. So we are now booting into TWRP and what we're going to do next is we will go ahead and do an Android backup which will basically back up everything so that once I'm done with this video and once I'm done reviewing this ROM I will go back to my current setup which is what I would like to use. Now this is the recovery by Codeworks universal one so it is encrypted let's decrypt it. Now there's been a lot of confusion and questions about DM Verity and I will see if we need this in particular video if required I will try my best to explain first thing that we're gonna do is backup select all the check marks make sure you've selected everything and then swipe to backup now this backup will take anywhere between two to three minutes because it's gonna take around uh, say anywhere between two to five gigabytes of storage space on your internal memory 
So make sure you have that storage space available. The backup is complete. What I'm gonna do next is I will be going ahead and connecting the phone to my computer in TWRP. So do not boot or do not do anything. Just go ahead and connect it to your computer and I'm gonna copy the TWRP folder because that has my backup. Now, if you wish, you can completely copy the entire internal storage to be on a safer side. If you have any important files or pictures, I don't have anything because I virtually flash my phone almost every day. So I'll just copy and I'll get back to you in three, two, one. Now, what we're gonna do next here is we're gonna go to wipe we will do format data and we will type y e s now this is going to erase everything i'm assuming you backed up everything erase everything at your own risk because that will never come back unless you backed it up so let's click the tick mark here okay now let's do a factory reset to be safe we will wipe internal storage again There we go. All right, so everything is wiped. We're gonna copy the ROM zip, the firmware zip, gapps, and Majisk. So these are the three files you need to now copy to your phone's internal memory. It'll just be a couple of minutes. All right, so the files are copied now. Let's go ahead and install them one by one. We will not be installing Majisk because first we will get the ROM to boot and if it boots fine, then we will go ahead and root it. So let's go to install. The first file that we're gonna install is the firmware. There you go. So let's swipe to install. Okay, next we are going to install the ROM itself. Swipe to install again. All right, the ROM as well is installed now. So next we will install Google Apps. Now this will take a while. Now, as I said earlier, the link for all the files are mentioned in the description. You can go ahead and download from there and just follow the step-by-step -step instructions and once you're done with this, if you want to go back to stock, there is a different video for that. And if you want to go back to an Android backup, you can always do that. Also in the comment section, guys, let me know out of all the custom ROMs, which ROM do you like the most? Which ROM would you, you know, like to flash or because the reason I'm asking you this is because I'm going to review one of the custom ROMs. In fact, I'm going to preview and review all the custom ROMs that are available for the OnePlus 5T. But then again, I want to begin with a good one. Now, when I say that I'm going to review it, I will be installing it and using it as my daily driver at least for two days. So I'm going to be on that custom ROM so that we can determine as if it is good enough for you to move to that ROM or not. Okay, so Google Apps is installed. All the three zip files are installed. So let's wipe cache and Dalvik. Okay, let's reboot to system now. Do not install. The first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be patient while the first boot is done. All right, so it booted up. That is the setup screen. Let's quickly skip through setup. Now, right off the bat, let me tell you that it is detecting both my SIM cards. So there's no problem there. It detected my Wi-Fi as well. So very, very basic and essential things are working. Um, let's give it a shot. Say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, let's see if the fingerprint scanner works. So, there you go. All right, so the fingerprint scanner works as well. I'll be missing face unlock, but that's fine. So we'll use launcher three, which I believe will be the Android O launcher. So there you have it guys. OmniROM boots up with a recovery, which was working with Android Nougat. And that's all your, so I'll be reviewing this ROM later. 
for now the last thing that we have to see first we'll go ahead and check the android version that's 8.1.0 that's your audio there okay so what we'll do next is we will go ahead and tap restart settings enable advanced restart now one more reason why i rebooted into recovery was the dm verity thing wherein you know are you able to decrypt data or not so this code works recovery the universal one let's see we had kept the password as one two three four and tick mark all right data successfully decrypted so in this rom you don't need the no verity or stuff like that all right so one strange thing that i've noticed here is uh, i copy all the files to the internal storage i flash them the rom boots successfully but somehow those files disappear so somehow it is probably erasing those files on first boot or i really don't know but then again i've copied magisk again and let's go to install magisk okay so let's see if this works reboot system do not install so let's see if root access works because with this recovery if root access works then you have one recovery to go to everything now the only thing that i've not tested on this code works universal recovery is uh, the open beta supplied by one plus so i've tested uh, the 4.7.6 and there you go it boots up now we just have to pray that it doesn't boot loop, which i don't think it will so root access works okay that was a quick boot one two three four all right brilliant there you go majesk close safety net check all right so majesk is working the phone is booting fine let's see what's up with the camera here all right so looks like the camera works as well there's a lot of flicker but that that we shall cover in the complete review so wi-fi is working everything is working as advertised and i'm gonna probably try it for a day or two uh, i'll see if i can use it but then again not now maybe later so that was a step-by-step -step guide for you guys so here's a quick recap i was on oxygen os 4.7.6 now it doesn't matter if you're on stock lock bootloader or not just go ahead and follow that guide to unlock the bootloader and instead of the twrp supplied in that particular video use the twrp linked here and flash it just go ahead and back up if you want to and copy everything to your computer and all you need to do after that is wipe everything including the internal storage reboot into recovery flash the firmware first then the rom then google apps then boot up once the boot up is done go back to recovery decrypt using the password which works fine with this recovery and install magisk and you're good to go so that was a video for you guys i really hope it helped you and if you really like this video and it helped please go ahead and like share and subscribe and don't forget to participate in the redmi 5a giveaway if the channel makes it to 4000 subscribers before the end of january i will be giving away a brand new redmi 5a thank you for your time goodbye